show this is on. My name is David V. I'm a filmmaker in Rochester, New York, who has spent the last 10 plus years exposing a corrupt, a dirty, and a racist Rochester Police Department. The RPD twice. Two different films, look them up. RPD exposed when they killed Vandy Davis on Joseph Place. When Officer Gephardt claimed that he tripped on an extension cord. Wow. And his shotgun went off. And they took a the father of three children away from his family. How about 2002, when they executed 13-year-old Craig Hurd on a dead-end street, a yes, scared yes, African-American boy. That's right. Yes, That's right. Yes, sir. He wasn't going to hurt nobody, like the late Reverend Craig oh, said. Yeah. Rest in peace. I'm great. He said, wait him out. He would have got scared. What did the RPD do literally the next day? They let a white male go from the corner of Norton Street and St. Casimir, who backed up and hit several police cruisers, who they was high go. on drugs, they let him go. who let him on a chase through Wayne County, yes, a 30-minute yes, chase, yes, who sir. struck several cars, who struck an innocent lady at a stoplight. They did not fire on him once. What did they do to him? You know what they did? They put on road spikes. Yep. And he's alive right now. Right. But 14 year old Craig Hurd is dead. What about Calvin Green? Okay. Well, what about Oscar Thomas Rodriguez? Get it right, Rodriguez. A Latino like myself who should be ashamed of himself. A Cuban just like me who knows what it's like to live in a police state of Cuba. Beating 30 year old Lawrence Rogers at the Whiteman's on Driving Park Avenue. And Dewey murdering this man with his bare fist and all of his weights. I, I know what Emily's going through. Indy Media has always had my back, which is why I went and I supported her. And what do you think happens in the middle of a support meeting? Rogue, Rochester dirty cops show up. And what do they do? They start ticketing with pink rulers, ladies and gentlemen. A law that is never hardly enforced in the city of Rochester, New York, or any other city for that matter. They measured my car. I guess I don't like to park close to the curb. What do you know? I was 12 and a half inches from the curb. Not 12, $35 ticket. In a city with open air drug markets as we speak, That's right. with rapes, That's with right. murders yes, going sir. on at the yes, same simultaneous no, time, yes, sir. the RPD spends everybody, don't be afraid, everybody oh, yeah. needs to listen to this. That's right. They spend our hard earned taxpayer dollars to send five rogue units over with a bunch of bully sog right. cops with yeah. their leather gloves and their tattoos yeah. right. up and down the arm, yeah. uh, and they intimidate and they retaliate against a fellow officer, the Brotherhood, an officer who did not like the fact that Emily Good was videotaping a racially profiled right. traffic stop that right. occurs in the city That's right. every single day. I'm ashamed right. my own kids, my African American and Latino, and I'm ashamed that we have a black African American chief of police who has yet to say anything on this. And it's yeah. not commented on this. Right, 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 and it's right. not commented on this. Take a look at all the thugs out there. Watch them. They may arrest me after this. Watch them all. Looking down at me, but I'm not afraid. And you can't be afraid. And you can't be afraid. Okay? Stop profiling. And here's the sad thing. I, I promise I'll end with this. Here's the sad thing. In a city, and I will say this, there's no doubt in my mind that Officer DeConzio was an innocent bystander. But here's the catch. Officer DeConzio walked into a escalated situation and something tragic happened to him god bless him i met his family everybody always thinks you know i'm this cop hating machine not true at all i respect good officers it's just that they're very hard to find very hard but to here's find. the thing nobody very wants to say to all the media here that you see today okay they're here because this case has gone viral in many ways that's right but let's address the real fact about what happened with 14 year old type on rivera he was jacked up off his bike. He was ridiculed. He was belittled. He was humiliated. I am not approving of what he did. But Officer DeConzio's fellow RPD brothers created a situation that ultimately led 
ultimately led to Tyquan Rivera doing what he did. And it's sad. I try to teach my kids know my their dance work. I try to teach them. No, Bobby, no. They are good cops. I try to take them back to a time when I remember Officer Friendly coming to my school, Jonathan Child, 21 school in 1981. And I used to get coloring books and respect the police. And I played on the police softball team at Cop Hill. And in the hood, police would get out. And they would bring a cooler with water and soda and chill with the kids and talk with the kids. And guess what? In 1980, the kids respected the police. Officer Friendly ain't friendly no more. Okay? That's right. But what about now? What am I supposed to say to my son when I came home with a $35 ticket when some bully-ass cops retaliated on their father and on a community meeting. So it's said they are poisoning the well for community relations in this community, in this city. There was two things that Ms. Good showed us through her courage and what happened with her. One, of course, is that we now understand the RPD believes that safety is all about them and not about the people. They didn't feel safe, so you gotta go in the house. Number two, is even though this city doesn't have a formal citizen review board, it has one. We're a citizen's review board. That's Wait till right. you see That's a cop right. make a stop, it looks questionable. Break out your That's power. Right. That's right. Every time you see something going on, it looks like it shouldn't be going on, That's break right. out your power and hold them accountable. And eventually, maybe we will get a correct citizen's review board. But we need things like this. We need people with the courage to come out, be seen, let their voices be heard, and take the doggone pictures. Whenever it's needed. No justice, no peace. Who's giving the order? I was at the squirrel on Thursday. I own a business on Monroe Avenue. You cannot get six cops to show up for a gunfight. But you got six cops to show up for parking? Really? Who gave the order? We need to know who set this policy, and we need to change it because this is turning the civilians, the citizens of Rochester against the police. And that makes their job harder and our lives less safe. Right. This is about constitutional rights, one of the Join most important system. rights in the Constitution. And that is the First Amendment, which includes the right to video record in public places. And when one person's rights are violated, all of our rights are violated. In the hood, there's one saying. This is I grew up learning this after I saw how bully and how thug and corrupt all the way back from Calvin Green being murdered. That's right. Gordon Alicia Erlach, McCullough. Remember Alicia, Alicia McCullough, McCullough. All these That's cases. Right. That's right. You know what the saying is in the hood? You call the police, you're calling another problem. Don't call Popo. Shut up. Don't call 5 -0. And it's sad that they don't realize that the very same conduct that they elicited on Thursday, uh, uh, at Clarissa Street, that's on my video all over YouTube right now, the same mentality is the reason that people do not respect the RPD. Don't 